David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey, Olympia, Washington, and author of the book, Back and Neck Pain Relief, Not One Single Visit More. So I have Darren with me, and he came in originally from a work injury type injury and was treated by another provider. And while they did a really good job, they forgot to maybe share with him some other options that he could have done. And actually, he found me on YouTube and did some which is i would never thought that was a place to you know people would be looking but it really is people are looking for help and so they're looking for short-term care and while i was honest with darren we had gone through his mris we had gone through the radiology studies and we talked about some of his condition and some of it being chronic at this point and that uh, we may not get 100%, but he was willing to try and do some sessions in here. So we're gonna let you see a little bit about what, what we're doing with him and getting him some back pain relief. He's now back at work. Uh, so go, go ahead and face down for me, Darren. Thank you. I'll give you a few moments. Darren, if you wanted to say something after, you're more than welcome to. All right, right short. So we're about three quarter inch short on this side today. to take a deep breath release it out I'm using a drop piece Good. I'm lighten it up just a little bit here Good. both legs even goes a little shorter in position three go ahead raise this leg for me and back down, other one. Back down, good. Adjusting the other side of the pelvis. x-rays right now but if I remember right we had talked about some of the degeneration in the lower back is that right yeah. and then we talked about uh, what was called the grade grade one spot below the cesis I believe we talked about is that correct and it was right here at L4 so that's where the vertebrae actually slips forward and it's measured in grades like one through four uh, one through five and uh, four here is actually putting more, has gone forward and putting pressure on the cord and not only the cord, but the nerves as well in him. So that creates a weakness or a, what we call it instability. So the best, one of the best forms is to create some kind of traction in his lower back. Like we're using the distraction table here. This is called the Leander distraction table and it helps people to help stretch and open the back part of the, uh, the facets as well as the disc area. It doesn't create a decompression pulling it apart. It just creates a traction in through there, uh, right through the lower back. So when those vertebrae are sitting forward, you don't want to push forward into them a little in, to make it worse. You want to help assist that and bring it back. So my contact is actually right below that area. Have you gotten some relief mm -hmm. since we started working? on the right side or left side? It's feeling on the left. Does it switch over on you? Okay. This goes back and forth sometimes. But predominantly left side. or quadrate some form right here. And 
mean, are you still getting pain down the legs? That has reduced. So we've made improvement there as well. When you do get it, or when it returns, is it usually like after a day of work, or when you when you're experiencing it? Okay. So hydrate the body. Drink plenty of water. You know, throughout the day, one of the things that happen to all of us is, if you ever notice when you get in the car, you have to adjust your mirror from the night before. Well, you're about an inch, inch and a half taller because the discs are hydrated. And as the day goes on, those discs shrink, puts more pressure onto the joints, into that whole vertebral segments down here, even onto the nerves. So that's why a lot of people may not always feel it in the morning um, because those discs shrink and more pressure in there. We get more tired, day goes on. Okay, let's have you lay on your right side. I notice you're moving these here on the table a little bit more. You're not as slow. I know you're still guarded in there. Good. On your back. Big breath in here. Let's have you lift your head up for me, please. And back down. So by traction and neck, we also help affect the lower back as well. Because it's all connected. You're good? Yep. All right. Looking at the position of the feet, ankles, knees. Yep, right into that area. Put both your hands on the table so you don't slide. Now slip you right out of your pants. <laughs> Not good for viewers. All right, go ahead and sit up for me, face the chair. things to start doing. Do you stretch over a ball? Uh, sometimes. Therapy ball. You got the foam roller we talked about that. But even when you're at work, put your hands behind your back, stretch back when you can think of it to increase that curve. That'll take and open up that disc space a bit, helping restore some of the curve in there. Anything you want to add to the viewers? On nothing to think of? Thumbs up? Things good? All right, I'm Dr. David Warwick. Thank you for watching.